What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBAsafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. If you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and more, visit SportsTMB.com. He has been in the community for years and has hundreds of reviews. Click the first link in the description to get your account today. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back with another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys, today, yes, we had no new content yesterday besides the mystery packs. Before we get into the video, man, make sure to smash the like button, drop the sub. That'll be greatly, greatly appreciated. Please, 11.5k, 100,000 empty giveaway on Twitter and Instagram. So make sure to follow those down below. We're also selling MT. And yes, guys. Yesterday, there was no new packs. I don't even know how. I'm actually insanely shocked. But yes, no new packs yesterday. We got mystery packs. That was cool. But today, we are going to go over some market talk, probably market inflation, considering there's no packs out, which means next week has to be a dynamite week. If you ask me, it has to be some crazy, crazy type of week. So with that being said, man, right now, I'm going to guess before even looking at the auction while popping these packs. You guys are going to have to sell all your cards this week. And I'm honestly probably going to sell my whole entire team. I'm going to sell Eddie Curry, Giannis, J.R. Smith, Paul George, Lamar Odom, Luka. I think it's honestly time to sell as we get closer and closer to endgame. And wow, look at these packs. They're terrible. 2K pack odds are so bad. 15K down the drain right there. But it doesn't matter, man. Let's get into some market. Let's check out what's going on. And I'm going to tell you right now, man. Market is inflated like crazy. You guys could sell any card. They're going for a lot more than expected. Besides this Eddie Jones, he will probably continue to drop. And obviously, man, Paul George is probably going to continue to drop too. I should have sold him at a million. When I first got him, he was going for a million. Now he's about 460K. You will see the prices rise. I think you'll see Paul George drop officially, honestly. I think Paul George will definitely drop. And then, yeah, we see Ben Simmons, Larry Bird. It's pretty crazy, man. I think the market, this is probably your last chance to sell. We got Saturday and Sunday. I would definitely sell, man. The market is somewhat crashed. But then again, man, it's getting closer and closer to end game. Lonzo Ball went up a lot. He was a buyout. Now he's rocking way over the price of Galaxy Opal buyout. So Lonzo Ball, man, if you guys invested in him, you made a lot of MT. Let's go over my man, Eddie Curry, man, because Eddie Curry, the GOAT, He's so OP. I love the man. He's no longer a buyout. So yes, the market is inflated like crazy. I think I'm going to sell everything I got because why not let it fly? Manu Bowl. Let's check out his value. Manu Bowl's price went up from about 30k to 45k. You can sell him. You can sell everybody you got, man. I'm telling you right now. There's a lot of profit to be made. There's a lot of snipe filters going off like pink diamond snipe filters. Man, I'm just sad they didn't drop content. I had a lot of games planned. I was ready to roll. I was going to drop four to five videos. And yeah, there's no content. So if I were you, man, there's no content. Market's probably going to be slower. No one really likes 2K without a good market scheme. So right now, man, I'm honestly going to tell you to make MT right now. It's going to be triple threat online. We got the mystery packs. You get, um, you get this every single time you get a W. And then you get the packs also. So premium packs, mystery packs, you get all of that. I will be grinding a lot tonight. I might run a stream later. We shall see how it goes. But yes, then again, man, I feel like 2K is definitely dying out as we get closer and closer to endgame for sure. But uh, what you guys should be doing right now, let's look at my collection. Let's look at my team. I'm going to show you everybody in my collections. I know a lot of you guys do like my cards. So we're going to go over those. I'm going to tell you what to sell and whatnot. So Clay Thompson's price is actually up a lot. He was rocking around 130k. He's up to 180,000 MT. So Clay Thompson, if you want to sell him, I think that's definitely a good value to sell for. Mr. J.R. Smith, man, he dropped about 200,000 MT. If you remember, I got him for around 350, 300, because this card, in my opinion, is honestly one of the best cards in the game. 99 thing, Rashad, 99 mid range, bro. He has a 99 dunk, I think, or 98 driving dunk, man. His perimeter defense is outstanding. He also could play point guard. I'm telling you right now, man, J.R. Smith, Galaxy Opals, one of the best cards in the game. I think his price could rise, but right now, if you really want to, I think you could just sell him as well because you know how it goes, man. We're getting closer and closer to NBA 2K21. As we get closer and closer, man, prices will continue to drop, even if it's LeBron, Galaxy Opal, man. Galaxy Opal LeBron is so expensive. Let's see if I, which, what set was it? It's this one, right? Yeah. 
LeBron James Opa 1.3, okay? One hour left with the shoes and everything. This card is so expensive, bro. I promise you, he's going to drop in value, even though he is that rare. Sooner down the road, they'll probably drop some super packs. And honestly, I probably will do a pack opening if they do drop some super packs, especially with MT, even though it's always VC. LeBron James up a lot. This whole entire set is honestly very, very expensive. And it is for Don Maker. So pretty much LeBron does make the set. You get Don Maker off LeBron. If you have LeBron, make sure to sell him. We also have a lot of glitch players. Giannis is one of them, man. He's still holding his value. This card is honestly, in my opinion, the best point guard in the game besides LeBron. For the price value, I'm not going to lie. My Giannis, he does have the shoe. He has that 87 three-point shot. It's Giannis, man. You really can't go wrong with any type of Giannis. And obviously, with his perimeter defense and his steal being 99, his 6'11 height, his 97 speed, honestly, you, you really can't beat Giannis at the point guard. And if I were you, I would definitely recommend selling this card. Yes, his Opal is stupid expensive. We're going to go over that price as well, man. He's so expensive. It's insanity. Chris Bosh is up as well. He was at 200K yesterday. He's up at like 300 now. So he, you should definitely sell Bosh. Giannis Opal, man, at almost 2 mil MT. This card right here, man, at 2 million MT. In my opinion, I think the point guard card is honestly one of the same cards. He really is, man. I'm telling you. And you can't run this one at point guard. So it's completely up to you. I like running Paul George at small forward. Obviously, Giannis is a must at anywhere. But for the freaking $1 million reduction, and to run him at point guard, in my opinion, is definitely worth the sell. So if you have this Giannis, sell him. Even the point guard Giannis, sell him, honestly, bro. No content means no market crash, means market inflation. And there you go. Jared Smith just went up to 212. He's been at 170 the whole week. So as you guys can see, the market continues, continues to rise. Yao Ming's at 300,000 MT. Um, I feel like they're going to have fan favorites this week. I, I think they should. Fan favorites three with Mo Bamba, Galaxy Opal, or Zion Galaxy Opal will be sick. But uh, maybe we'll have Prime Tuesday. They're probably going to flood out content. In order, they didn't drop content Friday. So I definitely see some content coming. Lamar Odom's up a little bit. Luka Doncic was at 170 for the longest time. He's up to 210. You should probably sell him. And now these next mystery players, man. These mystery players... These are going to be really good cards. So what I say, this is what I'm going to tell you. All I'm going to say, next mystery player they drop, this card, these three cards are going to rise. It happens every time. So if you want to make MT easily, if you have these three cards, two of them, if you have Luca, whatever, when the next mystery player drops and it's getting closer to the set, it happened with Lamar, uh, with Paul George. When Paul George dropped, bro, Luca and Lamar went up 100,000 within the first hour. So what I recommend, if you know they're dropping prom, you hear the stats come out on Twitter, and I post a video of new content, throw up these cards, they'll sell for 300 and 250, maybe 350 and 250, and then a couple hours later, you will see their prices drop like crazy, because if you think about it, their demand goes up a lot, and then really, the supply gets over too much, because everyone's trying to sell them, and they drop right back down to their actual value. So that's one NT tip I'm going to tell you. Is very money. These two cards right here, I'm telling you. Try that out. Let's go over Bow Bow. Bow Bow is actually kind of cheap. His fully Evo card, which I have, is about, it's like 280K. In my opinion, man, Bow Bow is definitely one of the best centers in the game. And there's a lot you guys should be doing right now. All I'm going to say is Giannis, guys. If you want to do the Scotty Pippen set, you got to be crazy. He's not worth freaking 3 mil MT, man. I'm telling you right now, he's really not. Giannis isn't worth the lock at all for the 2 mil MT. You will see Giannis at a million very soon, especially when they drop an all-position Giannis. But one car I'm going to say is worth the buy right now is definitely Eddie Jones. Eddie Jones, this card is a mega human. He's absolutely crazy. I definitely recommend you guys do bid up on this Eddie Jones. He's a very good card. If you don't have T-Mac especially, I think his price might stay here. He's not really that like easy to pull. I did pull Kyle Larry. also pulled a ton of other packs. But with a 98 steel, 98 perimeter, and all that good stuff, man. Kyle, this Eddie Jones is the real deal. Also a 98 speed, and um, what's his dunk? He has a 99 dunk, right? 95 dunk. This card is it. He has insane perimeter, and he's cheaper than Klay Thompson, and I think he's almost the same height. So running this card as shooting guard, I definitely see his value to drop maybe a little bit, but I think his value also could stay, and this Larry's pretty good too. But yeah, that's all we really got for the video. I'm just saying, guys, sell your cards now. Make your MT. Get ready for next week. It's time to restock. 
I will be putting up my team on the auction, and we might run a stream later anyways, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Have a good one. Stay tuned for more content. Peace.